Hey guys, Sid here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make shrinking faces in Photoshop. Uh, so, oh yeah, so this is the result of what it's going to look like. See, I have Dr. Phil and I kind of made his face a little smaller, a little bit smaller than his original face. So uh, yeah, it's a funny thing to do. Lots of YouTubers do it. And uh, you know, I've been wondering how to do it for a while and I finally found out. You know, after testing some stuff, I figured it out. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing I got is a picture of Dr. Phil. I'm obsessed with Dr. Phil. Um, but you want to get a picture that has an even color tone throughout the whole picture. It can't be too dark. Like half the side, half his face can't be light, half his can't be dark. You know, it can't be, it has to be like the same color. Um, so yeah, so once you have a picture, you're going to unlock the layer. I'm just going to call this Dr. Phil. And you're going to duplicate the layer. So you're going to have two layers, and I'm going to call this one face. So the duplicated layer call face and the bottom layer just call whatever. So we're going to hide the face layer for now and with this one, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. We're going to take the spot healing tool which is located right here and you're going to cover up Dr. Phil or your person's face. So all you got to do is just kind of cover as much as you can up. Um, again, this is a I'm just doing this for a tutorial so gonna be pretty quick um, I just want to get like a general type you know straightforward type thingy my barber alright so that looks pretty okay so we're gonna hide that layer now we're gonna click on the face layer and activate it so you can see it now this is the fun part <laughs> we get to cut his face out so I'm just gonna erase the background here let's uh, grab our eraser and yeah uh, if they do have a beard if your person does have a beard keep it in uh, you just got to be extremely careful when you're doing this. There's a bit of a challenging more way to do it. Um, but yeah, you just got to make sure you cut the face out with the beard and then you spot heal it properly. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we're going to cut Dr. Phil's face. Try not to get any hair. Um, again, it doesn't matter about the eraser thing. It's, it's honestly up to you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to do less of his... Whoa, okay. Do less of his chin. Uh, I just got, you know, I want to, sorry, what am I saying? I want to keep some of his chin. Alright, so once you have a result that looks kind of like this, you're basically good. You're going to activate the Dr. Phil layer, or the second layer, and there you go, it looks normal. No, it doesn't. You're going to grab his face by hitting Control t on your keyboard, you can uh, toggle the transportation, and you're going to shift-click his face down to as small as you want, so that's good enough. There we go. Now you may think, what the heck, it looks so ugly. We're not done yet. The next thing you're going to want to do is, oh, whoop, I got some white spots right there. All right, anyway, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the face layer, or, yeah, this layer, the face layer, and you're going to add a layer mask. Okay, so once you have your layer mask, you're going to go to gr hit the gradient tool, uh, it should be paint bucket, just hold it down, you should get the gradient tool, and you're going to check your settings, because this is a crucial part. So what you're going to do is you want to make sure that the back foreground color is black and the background color is white. Uh, you want to make sure that you have this one selected, which is foreground transparent. Um, this is crucial, because it won't work if you don't do this. Alright, and once you have that, you're going to go to the top, and you'll see five type of gradient selections. You want to make sure it's on the radial one. So the uh, second one. Alright, so once you have that, you can go ahead and Photoshop, do some magic. So, you're going to, with the face layer selected, you're just going to grab your spot healing tool. Sorry, what am I saying? You're going to grab the gradient tool, and you're just going to kind of make some small lines. and Just drag your mouse, just to kind of cover up the edges of his face. Um, here we go. And it's okay if, see how I got a little bit of blurry there? That's fine. We can fix that after. Um, but just try and cover it up as best as you can. Again, I'm just doing this really quickly. Um, but yeah, uh, if you do smaller, closer to the skin, it will look a little better. Um, but yeah, this is why having the same color skin throughout is a bit crucial. Um, but yeah, so I guess this looks pretty... This looks decent, I guess. So you may have these blurry spots located like by the eyes or the mouth, or you may have gone overboard. So to fix this, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here and you get, you're get you going to click on the dodge tool. Uh, now the dodge tool will just kind of clear up any of that space. So if you kind of click around, you know, you can kind of bring out his mouth. Let's see, Dr. Phil, his mustache is a little dark, so we're going to bring that out a bit. His eyes, and pretty much that's it. So... 
that is your end result. Um, it does look better than using the spot healing tool throughout the whole thing. This way you kind of get a gradient feel uh, just to the face and it looks a little better, more professional. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I know I was rambling a lot in this video. I don't know why. That's so weird. Anyway, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.